Hi, good day, I'm Dan Okarek. I'm the founder of Reinhardt and Dan Okarek Enterprise. So welcome to the tutorial. We're going to be working on a project today from a member, which is a Reinhardt member, Deborah. So she brought in this project to me. Um, she's actually a computer science student and one of the projects in school is to create a chatting platform. But this is quite a, uh, a tricky one. It's not just a chatting platform for um, people to come to chat, but it's just a chatting platform kind of design. So it's going to be looking more like a chat group, something like a WhatsApp group. Um, it will also be a chatting platform where anybody can just come in with any username or um, any username they want. That means they don't have to go register. So we have quite some requirements on this project. One of the first and most important requirements is that the set is going to be the same layout. So we're going to be using the same design on all pages, but the content will be different. Another of the requirements is it has to be uh, pretty responsive, so that whether they're using a mobile phone or they're using a computer, it has to be compatible on all screens. We also have to comment this code, we have to make sure we don't copy it, we have to also uh, make sure we have just two links, one to our CSS and one to the icon. So these are like the requirements we have. So the benefit of this project is um, Deborah will be able to learn not just how to um, replicate what I'm doing, but she'll be able to also learn every single step that I took and why I'm taking the step. Okay, welcome. So now we're currently into the project. So the first and the most important thing you need to do while creating a website, the first and the most important thing is to create a folder. So we like creating up a folder while creating a website so we can put in our images, um, the contents of whatever the website is inside our folder. So for people who don't really know what the website is like, a website is like um, a, fo a folder somewhere on the web where you can access files. So each page you open on the website um, is actually a file in a folder. So if we're going to be creating a website, we have to first create a folder on our own computer. It's when we're done with everything, we cannot upload it somewhere on the server, then people can, you know, use the website um, link to access it. So um, I think when we start up with the project, as time goes on, I'll be explaining every single thing. So basically, this this will be a fun project for anybody who already knows how to create up a platform. But then if you don't really know anything about creating websites, it's actually still going to help you to a very great extent. So I'm going to first create up a folder and I'm going to be calling this folder Debbie. So this is like a, a folder for Deborah, call it Debbie. Now whenever you create a folder, the first and the most important thing to always do is to have um, about three image, uh, three other folder inside the folder. You should have an images folder where you're going to be storing all your images, which is the pictures. You should have a CSS folder, which will be containing all the styles. This is actually used to design or style the website. You should also have another folder which is going to be containing your JavaScript. But um, the only drawback we have in this whole requirement is when we looked at Debbie's project, it said we should only have two links. So it simply means we cannot have a JavaScript. So we're just going to be creating up just two folders. But normally you create three folders. Um, you create one for the CSS, one for the images, and one for the JavaScript. So let's just create um, the two we're going to be using on this particular uh, project. We're going to be creating one right now for the images. We're going to be creating another folder right now for um, CSS. So lastly, we're supposed to create one for the JavaScript, but because they said we shouldn't link, uh, we, sh we shouldn't link outside, we should only link to CSS and then we should only link to an icon. So I'm not going to be creating another link for the JavaScript, but normally it should be coming up here. So now I have created um, a, a images folder and a CSS folder. This is almost the most important thing you need to do in the website. So the next thing we're going to be creating right now is to create the first page. The first page of every folder that wants to be a website is what we call index. So whenever anybody visits a website, the first thing that website, the first thing the, the browser does is to search for an index. An index is the first thing that gets sent. So um, index is like the number one file that will be opened on the folder. If you have ever run a software on your computer, there is something we call auto run. Auto run is like the first thing that um, runs whenever you plug in a flash drive or whenever you put in a CD plate, you know, that auto run comes up. So when it comes to a website, it is an index. So we're going to be creating this file using a software called Visual Studio Code. We have been following up my tutorials. I've been making lots of emphasis on this Visual Studio Code software. 
and that is because it's actually the best software to use in creating software it's, it's easier you can add up extensions there are lots of other alternatives to create websites but visual studio code makes things easier so we're going to be using visual studio code now i've started up with visual studio code the first and the most important thing to do is to come to open folder you have to click on open folder because remember you have already created a folder that has images and css so you have to make sure you link this folder to your visual studio code so i'm going to be creating an open folder and i'm going to navigate to where i created that file i did it at desktop i'm going to be clicking on uh, my desktop now, now now i'm in my desktop i'm going to be going next to debbie which is what i created the folder now to open up the folder if you're, you're if you're looking by the um, left hand side you can see the css folder and the images folder we created earlier now how you know folders is they usually have this forward um arrows kind of sign so this simply means this is a folder and this is a folder if there was anything inside it should be showing it so now we're here we'll just um, click out so it gives us this blue so we know right now we're in the main folder we're going to be creating that file i told you of which is the index.html now um as time goes on on your website design you're going to learn that index is the name of the file you could have index.php index.py which is python or index.html but well, since the project is all about html we're going to be using index.html it was a php product uh, project we're going to be using index.php so let's create an index.html file so put index.html file so i'm going to be hitting enter which is to create up the file now the file is open now whenever you open up a website like i said this is the first file that is going to open so i'm just going to uh, come here and write our website so this is just to show you what it is like and i'm going to be going live saver live saver simply means it's like an extension where this file is going to be open right now you cannot see it here it's saying our website so that simply means this file is opening so the next and the most important thing is if you get back again to the project we're working on the project simply says we should create up something that looks like you know a chatting platform so that's what we're going to be doing instantly now because i use visual studio code lots of things becomes easier so that is why i highly recommend it so normally whenever you want to create up a html file you have to go create some um lots of things lots of templates you know those things might be tedious for you and you might get to make one mistake and then the page looks horrible but when it comes to visual studio code to start up with the html file you just need to add up an exclamation mark so on your keyboard you can see this is an exclamation mark it is actually called emit and visual studio code we just no, it has an exclamation mark whenever you are you are inside an a html file the moment you put an exclamation mark it will give you a template that you can use to start so this template is the easiest way to get started so i've put up my exclamation mark all i have to hit right now is enter i've hit enter right now it's going to be giving us like the template like i said earlier so it's now time for us to start building from this template now we could actually still do all the things ourselves but then it's going to take a whole lot of time but if you're just new into um, creating websites i would advise you go read up the stuff that might be very important uh, for you but for someone like me who already knows what all the stuff does and how to do it uh, manually i just feel it saves me a whole lot of stress so right now let's just go straight the first and the most important thing to always change is the, the um, title of your page so every single website has a title um, title are what people will see whenever they want to save the page whenever they're searching for the page on google or whenever they, they open the page so i'm going to be using um debbie's chats on this um title so whenever anybody opens this website it's going to be showing debbie's chats on the title bar or the address bar so i'm going to be putting in debbie de bby debbie let me just let's put it let's make it debbie's chat with an exclamation mark now if you go back to the website right now you can see this was just um an ip address showing and telling you the name of the file which is index.html it's actually coming from our local server but the moment i refresh this page you're going to be seeing debbie's chat so that simply means um the final has a proper name if it doesn't have a proper name it will just come up with anything it wants to and that is not good so now we're now back in let's get back to official studio code now remember the project is to create something that looks like um a live chat which is something that we can actually um 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 you um present as a live chat where people can come in use any username of their choice like i'm Dan O'Kirk, i can just come there put no kirk and then join this um kind of pseudo group chat where there are lots of other people so we're gonna first of all need to really design this website 
So if you're actually just new to projects like this, um, you you probably want to be designing it with a pen and a book. So when I actually started um, programming at first, back then, I used to make use of um, drawing boards, which is drawing parts. I, I made use of drawing parts often. And then I would sketch the website on a drawing book and then try to um, do whatever I sketched and put it into the website, which is use. I was trying to basically use a paper to hard to hard sketch the website, then code it. Now the problem is uh, when you're using a paper, there are no much um, flexibility, so you cannot you cannot sketch something and quickly um, erase it. Even if you're doing that with a pencil, it's going to be quite a whole lot of problem. You might not be able to know what colors look like. You might not be able to know the color um, um codes. It's it's just quite um a, a very big problem if you're using um a sketch pad so if you're someone who has been using sketchpad watching this video i would recommend you no longer use sketchpad so i'm going to be teaching you the best software to use when drafting out website so i use um figma figma is like a software you can just use to sketch out website so on this particular project i would like us to use figma to just sketch out the reload website so because this video i wouldn't want it to be too much of a, a, a length i would want every of my video to be maximum 10 minutes for the five seconds i'm going to be stopping this video now but the episode two is going to continue from where we stopped